Black Maternal Health Week was created in 2018 by the Black Mamas Matter Alliance. UPMC started acknowledging Black Maternal Health Week back in 2021. We found it to be important to be able to spread awareness and education as well as put a spotlight on disparities. In our country, we know that black women are three to four times more likely to die in childbirth than their white counterparts. And that's because of social determinants of health, systemic and structural racism, implicit bias, and all these things can be fixed if we first identify it as a problem and two, work together to solve the problems. Black Maternal Health Week encompasses April 11th through the 17th. We're inviting community members to come and tell us about their experiences. We really need that connection to the community to make improvements and to help patients. We're doing many things and we're just excited to really look at this week as an opportunity to engage the community and get our voices heard and get the community's voices heard that we can birth better. Everybody has bias, but it's the implicit bias that leads to poor health outcomes. In 2020, we did some focus group with young black women that either could have delivered at McGee or potentially would be delivering at McGee to see what they would like from their birth experience. What was loud and clear is they wanted an advocate. Two months later, the Birth Circle Doula program of McGee was in place. Some benefits for having a doula here are definitely the advocacy. We're very strong on advocating for our patients, but most importantly, teaching our patients how to advocate for themselves because we need them to use their voices, especially when things are not going as planned or they're not being treated as they should be. And doulas spend six to 11 times more time with their patients than doctors do. And so when we look at uh, diversifying the perinatal workforce and strengthening the perinatal workforce. Doulas definitely need to be at the table. I was inspired to become a doula here through my experience with my doula when I gave birth to my daughter. I loved that she helped me stick with my birth plan of wanting to deliver unmedicated. Having that additional support and advocacy really helped me push through with what I initially wanted from my birthing experience. It made me want to be able to give that to other moms and to be able to support them in that way because it was something I desperately needed at that time. Doula care is appropriately and rightfully expensive and it can be cost prohibitive for the most vulnerable and marginalized people. So in my dream in the future, I think that we will continue to see an emphasis put on improving maternal health care and really listening to the community and getting doula care more utilized. I hope to see more women having healthier experiences, healthy babies, and that they feel safe and welcomed in the hospital setting when they're delivering their child. That they do not feel that they have to be afraid of their providers because of things that they may have heard or things that they've experienced. And I think bringing more awareness to this will help hopefully encourage people to be more patient and caring towards all patients no matter what they look like.